I've been natural for over two years now and I have never, ever been able to achieve curls like this. Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is such a fun video. I actually intended for this video to be a experimental type video as me trying the Denman brush for the first time ever. I honest to God thought that the Denman brush was not gonna work for my specific curls, but girl, I was so dead wrong. These results are incredible and I think it's because of the way that I used it plus the products that I used it with. So instead, I am about to show y'all my number one updated wash and go styling technique plus my new favorite product combination for a wash and go. These results are actually life changing. I'm so excited for this one. Y'all are in for a serious treat. But before we get started, please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Just go ahead and hit that button. That way you'll be notified every single time a new video drops. Now let's get started. All right, so welcome back to my bathroom once again. I'm starting off with freshly washed hair and we are just gonna go ahead and jump straight into styling. I'm a little bit nervous, not gonna lie. I have never used a denim brush before. If y'all know me, I have been a finger detangle girl for detangling, styling, whatever, everything ever since the very beginning of my natural hair journey, so I am a little bit nervous. My hair tends to get a bit frizzy if I brush it out. I see everybody going crazy over the Denman brush. For other people, it actually does the opposite, and it's supposed to help to clump your curls. So, I don't know. I've never actually tried it for wash and go styling, so we're about to see how this turns out today. So if you have no idea about what a Denman brush is, this is what it is right here. Denman is the name of the brand. And it just has these plastic bristles coming out of it and supposedly it's supposed to help to clump and define your curls. So let's get started. The style today I'm gonna to be using the usual leave-in conditioner and then something for hold. So today my leave-in conditioner is gonna be the Curl Essence Moisturizing Leave-in Conditioner by Care Care. And then for hold, I'm gonna use the Miel Babasu Brazilian Curly Cocktail Curl Mousse. All right, so I'm gonna start by sectioning my hair and I'm gonna do smaller sections than I normally would because I feel like if I brush this in big sections it's gonna be a hot mess like I'm really trying to work with this brush so this is the size of the section that I'm starting with it looks big because my hair is just big hair but it's really not that big it's definitely a much smaller section than I normally would start with so y'all know I love to style my hair while it's dripping wet so I'm gonna go ahead and use my DIY curl refresher and just kind of wet it back up all right, so it's nice and soaking now. So to style, I'm just gonna go in with the leave-in conditioner first, then the mousse, and then I'm just gonna brush it all through with a Denman brush. And we about to see what happens. So I feel like it is kind of helping to clump my curls a little bit at the ends. As you can see here, the ends look a little bit more chunky, but then the roots here look kind of, kind of iffy. Interesting, I don't even know how to feel right now. Like, I don't feel mad. I don't feel mad at it, I don't feel too worried. I just feel like maybe my roots might end up being a little bit crazy, but, but if it really does give me super defined ends, I might end up with like big, crazy, nice, beautiful volume and then still some defined ends, which might actually work in my favor. So I don't know, it's not as frizzed out and like crazy looking as I thought it would be. Interesting. All right, well, let's just keep going. So I'm just continuing to repeat the same steps as I go along in super small sections. Alright, so to be honest, I am very pleasantly surprised. I honestly, honestly thought with my type of curls that this wasn't really going to work right, but so far my hair looks really crazy defined. I did use a lot of mousse, but I mean, look at that. 
My hair definitely does not normally look this defined just with mousse. This is like gel type level of definition right now. My hair does not respond like this to mousse without a Denman brush. I'm shook. I'm really hoping that we end up with a big, curly, defined, beautiful, fluffy fro. Defined, but big. You know what I mean? Like, this is very possible that I may have found a new styling duo. Denman plus mousse equals curl heaven? I don't know. Anyways, I won't be able to make a final decision until this is fully dry, so I'm going to go ahead and diffuse off camera, and then I will be back looking much cuter in the studio for my final thoughts and the final results. I'm kind of excited. Alright, I'm back. My hair is fully dry, and I would like to have a moment of silence for these girls. I mean, seriously, these are like salon grade curls. I've been natural for over two years now, and I have never, ever been able to achieve curls like this. Why did I wait so long? Wow. Like, not even just like, wow, this is like a good wash day. Like, wow, like I need to do this every time I wash my curls type stuff. I mean, do you see that level of shine too? So I found that there were so many good things about this. So firstly, the product combination, bomb. I think they work so well together. I actually use this product combination for my perm rod set and they were so good that I was like, all right, let me just try it again. So, so good. This is chock full of castor oil and coconut oil. So it gives you some deep moisture as well as a little bit of shine. And then this, the hold of this and the curl definition that this gives is just incredible so i was majorly surprised by the results of the salmon brush i know there's been all the hype but i really thought the hype was too good to be true for my kind of curls so yeah the hype was real the hype is real y'all this is so so good and i also found that it helped to activate the products better as i was brushing it through my curls i just felt like boom like it was just i don't know it was getting the product to I guess every single strand and it just I don't know it just created a little bit of heaven on earth and I am so pleasantly surprised. I think the Denman brush actually works really really well with mousse specifically. I personally don't think I will ever try it with gel just because gel is not really meant to be manipulated like that. Gel is much more hardcore, it's like a thicker consistency. Once you put gel on you don't want to touch your curls again until it's dry. Whereas mousse, it has that wet consistency, so it's very like movable. Like you're able to manipulate it a lot more. And I think once I put the mousse on there and then I brushed it through, like that combination, I think kind of created a little bit of magic. Another thing I'm loving about the mousse right now is that my wash and go will dry under two hours. Like under two hours. That's unheard of for my thick hair. So if y'all watched my video of mousse versus gel, I was kind of up in the air between the two because the mousse side was full of volume, it dried quickly and it looks really nice, but the gel side I just knew that it was going to last a lot longer and it also had a little bit more shine. This mousse plus this brush equals the best of both worlds. Honestly, this has just now, based on these results right here, it has just become my new all-time favorite wash and go styling technique. Ugh, honestly, there is nothing bad about this entire look right now. It dried quickly, it has volume, but it still has insane curl definition. It has shine, and I honestly, I'm still, I'm still a little bit shook. I'm still a little bit shook. But yeah, guys, that is basically it for this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did and you're going to go ahead and try this out, comment below. Let me know how it goes for you. If you have another product combo for your wash and go that works, comment down below too because I would like to try that as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will catch you in the next one, which is just, you know, so conveniently placed here. Enjoy. Bye.